What's going on there, folks? Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good twilight, good daylight. It is Friday. 4.3 earthquake, the latest things to shake shake the globe up out here. It looks like New Zealand getting in on a little bit of activity here on this, uh, again, wonderful Friday, December 8, 2023, about 12.44 p.m. here, California time. There's that 4.3 coming in uh, to the New Zealand area. Let's run over to the GeoNet servers and see what's going on. New Zealand is one of those places um, that sit along the plate boundary here of uh, the... Is this going to be the latest quake up here? 4.3. It shows unnoticeable. Um, let me go over here to the GeoNet servers here real quick. See what's going on with this earthquake. It shows a moderate earthquake about 14 minutes ago. There is some reports. Uh, looks like a few reports coming in there. Uh, I'm not for sure where the unnoticeable earthquake uh, mention was, but 556 reports coming in of this 4.3 striking here just uh, about 15 minutes or so ago. Was felt up in the Wellington as well. Uh, and according to the GeoNet servers here, uh, shaking intensity as moderate. Um, let's see here. Of course, as I mentioned, the earthquake uh, activity out here has been somewhat minimal uh, for the most part in terms of uh, any large-scale activity. Uh, New I think New Zealand, in a way, has a little bit of catching up to do if you really think about it. We've seen a whole lot of earthquake activity around New Zealand recently, south and, of course, up north, and a whole bunch of activity stirring up across uh, this area of the Australia region, but uh, New Zealand kind of sits along that uh, major plate boundary that will eventually move and uh, produce a, a sizable one one of these days. Um, let me go back here. I wanted to see what this looks like on the uh, drums, earthquake drums here real quick. Stand by for a second. I'm sure it shows pretty nicely. In fact, probably across the majority of them, there it is on Quite a few seismograph stations there. Of course, as we get closer to the epicenter, the more prominent that feature will be on the graphs. And there it is, showing up pretty nicely. So, um, you know, definitely be on guard out there. As uh, far as the rest of the model goes out here, did see uh, some stirring up going on once again into the Vanuatu area. Of course, he did see some activity here yesterday with that seven pointer. You guys remember that? That was early in the morning, yesterday morning, so it's off the 24 hour map. Uh, but it uh, looks like aftershock activity is continuing this region here. Fairly consistent with the uh, depths for these earthquakes, around 10, kilometer, 10 kilometers or so, these defaulted levels. Um, there's some of that shallower earthquake activity upstream here. Uh, I say upstream because this is at the subduction zone level interface where the plate tends to, uh, the Pacific plate subducts underneath this region here. Uh, but it doesn't look like we've seen too much more overnight. Uh, another shallow one in this region. That's why when I said in my update last night, uh, maybe expect some larger scale movement up here because we've seen a lot of deep activity, but all that pressure transfer, that transfer of pressure, I should say, uh, has migrated across this plate boundary here. We've seen it um, over the last few days. Uh, but occasionally, if there's enough strain built up here at this region, uh, we'll see some larger scale activity. But uh, we'll continue to watch that. For the Philippines area, still seeing some earthquake activity, but notice the numbers are going down, which is good. The latest earthquake shows a 4.6. And there's, a, there's definitely some more earthquake activity in that region underneath the 4.0 threshold that the usgs uses uh, quite a few threes in that in that uh, area so if it looks clustered on the globe it is because there's still quite a few threes going on there just nothing um in terms of anything above the 4.0 threshold uh, and if they are the usgs normally reports them over here and there's a few all right uh 4.6 earlier this morning in japan the kuro kamachaka trench remains relatively quiet not a whole lot going on there and that includes the earthquake 3D globe. Uh, well, it looks like maybe a three. Well, there's that 3.6 here in Japan. A little bitty one up here. 
All right, uh, let's go ahead and take a peek here at Hawaii, see what's going on here. Getting some further movement off on the southeastern rift zone here, 2.1. Uh, still seeing some activity stirring up here, obviously in the earthquake department. Uh, let's go ahead and check out the latest informational statement here with regards to the Kilauea volcano. See if anything has uh, changed. Here's the daily update put out here this morning. The volcano is currently not erupting. And uh, they do mention here about the uh, past couple days here, seeing some increasing seismic activity in the summit region, the upper east rift zone and southwest rift zone as well. Uh, so just kind of waiting on this. The inflation level continues to remain elevated here. Uh, right here it mentions the uh, level of inflation um, is basically at the highest it's been at any time uh, since the 2018 eruption. So we do know that things are building up down there pretty nicely. So just a matter of time, I think, before we see that eruption take place. Go ahead and check out the tilt meter here across the Kilauea Volcano, see if anything's changed today. And uh, we'll move on on this beautiful Friday. Sunny outside, kind of windy outside here in Northern California. 58 degrees. Uh, there's our tilt meter doing a little dance of the up and down inflation chart here. Looks like overnight was mainly down. We're starting to come back up here. And um, if you look back on the 30-day level we did see some similar type events out there um you know with this up and down period although not quite as uh, uh short of a time frame between these things between these little events we did see it but it was over a, a few day time period now it's like boom 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 up and down so but if you look here we're still above the previous um inflation level not the not the uh the extreme highest one that we just got through but uh back in november and then we had some smaller ones before that but uh, we're still elevated definitely elevated at the summit region uh let's see what we got for earthquake activity out here looks like it's died off somewhat uh compared to yesterday about this time or so those little little break in between but even though there's still earthquakes popping up here little spikes of ones are still a little earthquake so uh potential this look, kind of looks like fluid movement in a way magma movement this thicker line drawn out um that's the past 12 hours past six hours you can kind of see that as well so continue to watch that it could pop at any second um these fissures definitely have a, a way of just creating um an opening in the uh, crust of the earth and most of these eruptions have been confined there uh to the kilauea summit region the lava lake area we're, we're still seeing quite a bit of uh, volcanic gases here i guess it's smoke in a way um seeping up through some of the cracks and whatnot it does look like it's rather cloudy out there across the summit region maybe cold as well up there so on the colder days, of course, things will look a little bit more enhanced, uh, but no eruption as of yet. We'll continue to watch that. Uh, latest informational statement here from the Iceland folks. Well, it's been two days since they put out an update here. The last update mentioned about the uh, potential likelihood of maybe that migration of magma um, forming an eruption somewhere else outside of the uh, Grindavik area of Iceland. Let's take a look at the earthquake activity, see what we have going on here. In the past 12 hours, got about 42. Still seeing some movement uh, north of Grindavik and around Hagafell and the uh, uh, Singarfell area, it looks like, and actually extending a little bit further north around that region. So, Maybe we're seeing that migration of magma that they're mentioning, that potential area of interest may be moving north here. We'll have to keep an eye on that, see if this continues. Uh, but uh, again, they haven't put out an update today. Uh, normally, they'll go a few days if nothing major changes. Uh, of course, if something does change, then obviously they'll put something out uh, immediately. But for now, everything looks stable as is. 
Uh, Alaska area seeing a handful of earthquakes up here around the uh, uh, the Aleutian Trench. Latest one, a 3.8, about 35 kilometers deep or so in that region. Typical movement up here across the mainland of Alaska. Uh, let's see here. I don't think we've got any major changes out here across the west coast. 2.5 map and above. Shows a little bit of movement up here across the Stanley, Idaho area. The latest one at 2.5. This is at the northern end of the Sawtooth Fault System. Uh, California. Looks like we got one little earthquake here near Long Valley Super Volcano, 2.8. That occurred earlier this morning, about uh, 10 o'clock or so, my time. A handful of other earthquakes in the vicinity of that quake, but nothing major going on. No major swarms. We would definitely note it uh, if there was a swarm going on around the uh, Super Volcano there in Southern Cal. Um, further activity down south but mainly microquake movement no unusual swarming to take note of out here across the southern portion of the state and uh, just seen a handful of earthquakes out here in the southern plains region for the rest of the globe uh, what we got coming in here 3.0 into the south america region around the chile area looks like right now uh, aside from that just a Typical day on this beautiful blue planet we live on. 4.3 going on in the, uh, looks like near the Nepal area. It's going to be right up around this region of the Himalayas. 4.3 coming in. That was, uh, that was today. Pretty recent uh, earthquake it looks like, right? 4.3, 12.39. Pretty deep though. That's uh, 432 kilometers. Goodness. All right. Uh, let's see what else we got here. I'm going to go ahead and check out the uh, space weather activity. See if we can get anything stirring up out here. All right. Notice this uh, little popcorn chart going on here with quite a few C flares and even occasional M flare here. Uh, looks like things have died down slightly though. Uh, which is just seen a consistent sea flare activity on the sun in the past 24 hours. And uh, mainly coming from 3513 over here. That's going to be the uh, culprit of the sun flaring activity. Today looks a little different. It looks like it's starting to separate here. Um, I'm not for sure if this is going to be a huge threat for us anymore. It looks like we're getting a little bit of a, a decaying going on here within that sunspot. But if you look down here... Now these sunspots are starting to pop up and uh, look a little bit more interesting as they float. Well, maybe not float, but uh, extend further out on the western limb away from the earth. So it's crazy. I keep saying that the sun's behaving rather odd recently. Look at this UV filter ray showing this, this region down here uh, quite active now. It's still somewhat within the earth-facing view, but I think if anything were to blast off, as far as the CME goes, we would... Uh, it'd probably be mostly directed away from Earth within with uh, this position. So our only hope right now of seeing any stronger flaring is uh, at least Earth-facing would be 35.13. Looks like 99% chance for a C flare. M flare at 40, X flare around 5% chance. And uh, we'll just continue to watch things and see how it plays out on the sun, right? A little bit of a prominence eruption up here on the northern end of the sun. Quite a bit quite a bit of those here recently it looks like none earth directed that i know of which means uh the space weather uh aurora department will remain uh, fairly quiet for now uh storm prediction center tomorrow kind of a big day down here across portions of the south where we do have a pretty large area of tornado concern uh mainly well it's five and two percent but uh don't let these two percent days fool you we can definitely see some tornadoes pop up here around this area so if you do live within this region, uh, the 5% zone here is just the, the more likely area where all the dynamics will come together uh, for the potential of some rotation. And therefore, you get those uh, uh, those tornadoes popping up. If you live in this area, heads up. Uh, some wind and also some hail, large hail potential. Uh, and this is for tomorrow. So make sure you guys have your uh, weather radio on and whatnot. Uh, of course, maybe an eye to the sky would be a good thing as well. 
Um, as far as anything major changing out here, well, let's see, let's put this into motion. Here's our system here for tomorrow, bringing in that severe weather. Pacific Northwest getting in on some much more, uh, a lot more moisture, it looks like. I think those guys are done with the rain, so we'll take it. Uh, please, we'll definitely take it. Uh, West Coast, this weather model has been trending wetter out here towards the middle of December, as it looks like maybe the storm system here, or at least the storm track, will be shifting a little bit further south into the West Coast, bringing with it some rainfall. And I'm hoping that will be the pattern here for the remainder of the winter. I would love to see a good solid three or four months of uh, storm after storm out here. We need it in California. Uh, of course, the, the threat of flooding will rise with that, but, you know, we have uh, our ways of managing the uh, flooding potential out here. All right, let's see what else we got. Anything major going on on the seismos? Look pretty quiet right now. Not really seeing anything major going on here. Um, I'm wondering if that four-pointer had to have shown up here on the New Zealand station. Definitely had to have. Uh, but the thing is, I don't know if I had it up here or not. So I guess we'll just go ahead and leave uh, we'll leave uh, New Zealand and the Hot Caves Hawaii station up here as well. Kind of hard to choose between which ones I want to show up here. Most of the time I keep it on the more active stations. Uh, Southern California had been active, but it looks like things are calming down right now in the Southern California area. Uh, not really seeing a whole lot of uh, movement overnight here, so uh, could be a temporary relief here. It seems like that seven-pointer maybe uh, slowed the pressure down out here across the eastern Pacific. All right, folks, um, I'm going to jump off here. Have yourself a good Friday, and uh, yeah, I think we're going to barbecue later tonight, so of course I'll be posting that up here for the members to see the deliciousness that uh, takes place here on the Earthmaster Grill. <laughs> Have a good one, folks. We'll catch you guys back here a little bit later tonight for the Friday night update. Enjoy your Friday and uh, definitely have some fun out there, but be safe. We'll catch you guys later.